Hello everyone and welcome back. This is game number two of the series between King's Indian and Sherman Tanks. This time King's Indian shows the map and it is Chubu Pass. Very interesting choice. I don't think I've seen this one very much in the tournament, though granted it has been a while since I guessed it a match. Um, what I like about it, it's very good for crabbing. These tree lines on both sides extend into the deployment area so you get some really good sneaky attacks off. And also with the three buildings, uh, always makes it interesting with buildings. And speaking of buildings, we have a Katana Cavalry here for King's Indian already capturing this uh, workshop over here. Let's look at the steps a little bit. That Yari Koro I was talking about is definitely out in full force in this match. King's Indian has a lot of spears. Yari Ashigaru, Yari Samurai, who I just love Yari Samurai, and they actually do quite well in melee, I gotta admit. We've seen him pulled off in many matches throughout uh, this tournament. I just love this Yari Core. It's really cool and an uh, interesting twist on what you'd think of a Yari Core being that spear wall. He's got a katana here in the middle, but I think that's his only sword unit. Yeah, that totally is, except his one katana cavalry. I mean, he doesn't have any really cavalry. He has this one here um, and another one back here, so very interesting. A lot more cavalry for Sherman tanks. He's got four units over here, along with two bows and just a much smaller infantry line. He's got Yari Ashigaru in the front. What I'm a little worried about with this build is he sort of has that Yari Spear Wall going on, uh, but it's just not very big. These, the thing about this Yari Spear Wall, you have to put so much money into making a really long and thick line that can really swallow up a lot of your money. You have to invest a lot of money into it, and I don't know if Sherman Tanks invested enough money into this Spear Wall. He's going to have to have some really good cavalry use to pull that out, especially against this, just these numbers here, especially with the Katana Hero. We'll be able to take that Yari Spear Wall, no problem. So it's going to come down to his cavalry use, but given the fact that that this army is just loaded with spears. I think it's going to be very tough for him. But then again, the macro battle I think was in Sherman Tank's favor last game, and Kings Indian ended up winning, so we'll see if that's the case in this game as well. Bunch of cavalry coming up to hit the Katana Cavalry. He doesn't want to lose this building right here, but that means that Kings Indian will lose one of his only cavalry units. When you have so few cavalry units, every one really counts. So if he loses it here, that could be big, but he might get pinned down here by this Yari Ashigaru, and if he does, that would be a much bigger loss for Sherman Tanks, because he really needs that cavalry to win this one. And neither side getting the shrine right now, and Sherman Tanks has blocked the uh, workshop from being captured, so no one has any buildings. Katana Cavalry is going to go there for... Oh, looks like they did rally for King's Indian, but only 20 men in the unit would mean they're going to be nearly useless, except for maybe a good charge at a critical moment. Great guard here down to 36, light cavalry over here at 25, so it was a decent trade-off there for King's Indian. If you can cripple this cavalry force, I think you definitely win. Uh, very important when you're looking at an army to find out what its strengths and weaknesses are. I talk about a lot in my video, What is Strategy Part 1, uh, about identifying the core and the strengths and weaknesses and what you're strong and weak against. And I think if he takes out the cavalry here for Sherman Tanks, I think he has the game because this massive infantry is going to be able to just spread out and surround this Yari Spear Wall, and I think he'll be done for. But here comes the cavalry for Sherman Tanks. A light cavalry is going into the Katana Cavalry, it seems. Uh, not a very good choice there, I think. He's just going to lose that light cavalry. Could have had an okay charge, but it could have been just a diversion for this great guard. Nope, pulling out. <laughs> Can't open up anything there, and with so many spears all over the place, it's really hard to find an opening. This is going to get only worse for Sherman Tanks as the Shrine is captured. He might even get the farmhouse. Who knows? But the cavalry here for Sherman Tanks is just all over this right side. And so they might be able to find a hole just in time to swing this battle in his favor. I think he really needs to be skirmishing right now as well. He has that bow advantage. He needs to be pushing it. Maybe he can trick King's Indian into a bad attack up this hill. Didn't work out for him so well in the last game. But maybe he can make it work in this one. If he can really maybe pressure that general with the bows, maybe make uh, King's Indian make a mistake. It could turn out in his favor. A unit for Sherman Tanks, one of the cavalry, is now hidden in the trees behind King's Indian. In case you notice it disappearing off the map there. Yari Ashigaru again are coming up first for King's Indian. Followed by a Katana Hero and the Yari Samurai Naginata Monks, who are pretty well experienced as well. So we'll see if this line can hold out. Because, but the one thing that could really screw King's Indian is he attacks straight into this Yari Spear Wall and doesn't even try to surround it. He could be in trouble because this is a fairly experienced Yari Spear Wall and it could not work out for him because he has a lot of spears which aren't very good against other spears so the Yari Ashigaru could definitely have an advantage here especially with all those bows it could be enough to just be able to grind this one out especially with the Naginata monks that are now spreading out a little bit for Sherman Tank so if Sherman actually gets the surround here it could be a whole different ball game all the cavalry has disappeared for uh, Sherman Tanks nope take it back they're back here hurt though some are back here in the woods 
Got some wavering now in the Ari Ashigaru, which aren't going to even put a dent in this front line. And there they both go. They have routed. And the cavalry is now coming out for Sherm Tanks. And actually, King's Indian, now that he's sort of spreading out, is looking a lot thinner and more vulnerable. Maybe this cavalry can do something here in this uphill battle. Good job getting Naginata Monk there on the flank to prevent the surround. But I don't think he should venture out too far, as he could get isolated himself, because the Ari Ashigaru is coming up as well. <coughs> Though if he catches him way out here, he will be outside the general radius, who is now a stand of fight. So it's very interesting. What's going to happen here? How will he break this nut? There's a huge hole over here, and he has his cavalry already positioned, so Sherman Tanks, in being patient here, could find a good opening to attack and just walk right into this open territory. Maybe hit the general, maybe hit the front line. I think I'd actually go over the infantry myself, because the general is covered by spears. There's no way you're going to kill him in that initial charge. Uh, I think I would just go for the infantry and try and route this use one by one. And we see the wavering. They didn't. They're now around the flank, though. Nagonaz couldn't hold them all down. But the Katana Samurai to the rescue here, but it's going to be close because this Yari Ashigaru will be in trouble. And a big hole right now for this cavalry to come through. Cavalry just has all kinds of openings. We have a lot of routing here on King's Indian side. The attack is not going as well as it did in the last one. The Yari Spiral holding out really well. Only have, That one's only lost four men. This one I think is the worst in 103, but this Yari Spearwall is holding out really well. And we see wavering all over the place from all this Yari Ashigaru. The Katana Samurai will do a good job here against the Yari Samurai. Naginata Monk's coming into cover, and it looks like he's going to hold this. Once again, we have an army that may be at a big disadvantage. We'll end up pulling out the win here, it looks like. And the big charge here from Sherman Tanks right into the General. Trying to seal the deal here. If he can get the General here, this wavering will be complete. And Sherman Tanks, really impressive defensive uh, effort here. A lot of micro... I mean, that was, this was a good defensive effort. Managed to funnel King's Indian right into that spear wall, which held out really well against that horde of enemies. And I think Sherman Tanks, very good win here. Look, he has a ton of men still on the field. I mean, the numbers here, sometimes, you know, the numbers don't tell the whole story, but in this one, the end result on um, those final numbers will be the story here. Yeah, Sherman Tanks, I mean, look at this. This Yari Ashigaru lost four men. It's at 146. This one's at 150. He hasn't even been touched. Amazing. It's a really good hold there. The thing about Yari Spiro, you got to get around it with infantry. With those monks and Katana Samurai capitalizing on that and managing to get in there, they held out quite well. It's being holding out quite well. The general is still alive for King's Indian with six men, but there's going to be too many men left on the field. There's the mass wavering. It's going to be any second now. And one, two, three, four, five. They've all routed Sherman Tanks game. Tanks takes game number two on Shubu Pass, King's Indian's home turf. I want to look at the numbers actually on the, this battle. I'll see you on the main menu. Thanks for watching. Oh man, look at those numbers. Sherman Tanks deployed 1,725 men and lost 547. The numbers are the story in this one, folks. Compared to King's Indian, you brought 2,190 and lost 1,582. Insane. Great hold there by Sherman Tanks. Great micro. Just a great map all or match all around and both the wins here are coming on the other person's home turf so it'll be interesting to see how game three turns out wonder where it's going to be as well thanks for watching everybody i'll see you in